Homies of the riches, what is going on? It's good to see you. Shout out to everybody that likes these videos before they even skip through the ad. I appreciate you, but I want to talk to you guys about my operation. It's probably not gonna be as cool as like a stealth military operation. Maybe not even as cool as the board game back in the day, if you guys are old enough to remember that. I think, you know, that was such a great game, but the sound of it just pissed everybody off and I think they just threw it away. But anyway, my operation is going to be to make it appear as if I lift. Now, you guys know I can't really get into powerlifting training right now, and as I talked about in a previous video, I don't know that I really want to, but you gotta have some kind of goal in the gym. And I guess that goal when it comes to bodybuilding training is to get a little bit bigger. So. I don't know too much about hypertrophy training. I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I've been, I spent the last few years, you know, studying powerlifting, and I'm just like you guys. When I want to learn something, I hop on YouTube and I, I watch people that I enjoy. So one of the channels that I think is putting out some of the best content right now, his name is Jeff Nippert. I'm sure a lot of you guys are already subscribed to him. I know I've talked about him before, but the information that he puts out for free is amazing. And I was watching one of his videos last week, and he was actually selling one of his programs. And this is like an eight-week chest hyper hypertrophy program and I know how bro that sounds and nine times out of ten if you guys see that or hear that on the internet you should be laughing it's probably a scam just some cookie cutter program some guys putting out to try to make a lot of money and that is not the case here at least in my opinion I, I spent I was the thing was like $39.99 this isn't like sponsored we're not working together I bought it off of his website just like everybody else but what I like about it is it explains the why behind everything he gives you the scientific research and he explains the exercises there's like nine or ten videos, instructional videos that only you have because you bought the program. You know, Jeff reminds me of the white Russ Swole. If those two would compete against each other, that would be better than Ogus versus Jones. Uh, I finally went ahead and upgraded to Spotify Premium. Best investment I might have ever made. If you guys want to follow me, it's the same as my Instagram, same as all my other social media. I have some public playlists. If you guys want to check those out. Trap. And the program has everything listed out for you. Reps, sets, rest time, RPE. It's all there for you, so you don't even have to think. And even some push-ups, which is kind of interesting, but he does explain it in his ebook. Head coach, Sark coming here. The sriracha bun. With these spicy sriracha chicken sandwiches. Those are a lot harder than they look. I'm just gonna let Jeff explain this one. Stretch position, preventing venous return from the muscle to the heart. By doing flat dumbbell isometric hold at the end of a session, not only do you allow for metabolite buildup in the muscle, which can signal for hypertrophy, you also present a novel way of progressively overloading by adding time under tension at a fixed load. So I will be documenting that on the channel. It's an eight week program, twice a week just for the chest portion, and then I'll be building my own split around that. And you'll, you'll be able to see the videos and you'll be able to see some of the exercises, but I'm not going to give you the program, guys. He is selling it. I'm not going to take away this man's living. It is his material. So if you guys want to buy it, you can. 40 bucks, not too bad. I'm bringing my date. Look how cute you guys look together. I know. Just... Josh, you getting weird tonight? I don't know. We'll see what happens.
feel like all right, I got the moose gonna make the... I think it's gonna <laughs> make the cut. I still get questions, why don't I ever sit on the couch? I don't know, I just really like this spot on the floor. It's just like my happy place, but that's what I expect. And obesity in America. I get drunk on the weekends. And act a fool with all my friends. I regret it in the morning. I'm just living in the moment, but I know that this gotta end. I'm living in a small town. I just wanna make it out. You're so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened, Travis. I always hear Rick Ross say, Rose! Rose! So I think Rose, Rose was really good. Yeah. Sick of going to the same places, now y'all know what I'm talking about. That's just because Eel. you want to have sex tonight. Lately, I don't know. My girl don't trust me. Hard to look you in the face when I know you don't love me. Face so pretty, attitude so ugly. I laugh it off even though it's not funny. Being a dick to children. Find myself alone every time I find money. Wolves. Time flies as soon as you hit 20. Time flies as soon as you hit 20. I mean, if it has the word fart in it, Corey loves it. So. I think just for best response, I have to go with teenage pregnancy. Yeah, you're damn right, you do. <laughs> Alright, Travis. I start with straight shots and then pop bottles. Yeah. Pour it on the models. Like it when it hurt, 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 hurt. Add money. Finally hit the road. I've been cheated now. Okay, story time. Now, if this ever becomes too much, these live talks or whatever you want to call them, please let me know. It will not hurt my feelings. But sometimes I just like to run my mouth, and I thought this topic may or may not apply to this video. I want to tell you guys the story about the most drunk that I have ever been in my entire life. Now, I am not a big drinker at all. I might have been drunk this past year maybe five or ten times at most, and half of it wasn't even intentional. I just went out and it happened or whatever, but it's just not my thing. Now, I do believe that if that's what you enjoy, that's your thing, then I think you should go out, you should drink, you should have a good time as long as you're safe, you're over the age of 21. It's just everyone's different, right? Some people like vodka and dive bars, other people like myself like caffeine and barbells. It's just to each their own. But I was 18 years old, and I had just received the worst news of my entire life. To this day, it's probably the worst thing that I've ever heard. And there was a big party playing two or three weeks after that and I went to that party with one intention and that was just to forget everything that was going on and for that night I was successful I got stupid sloppy drunk I was puking people had to carry me around and it was I was I was just a mess and I guess things got not progressively worse but Moving into my freshman year of college, I continued to drink a few nights a week, which was a lot for me, given that that's not my personality. That's not what I you know, strive off of. I'm an introverted person. I don't need to go to bars and drink. I'd rather just sit and read. And just, I feel like for me, I'm drunk on life. Like I always feel good and that's what I love. And I got to the end of my freshman year and it kind of just hit me like, why am I doing this? This is not what I enjoy. I don't know if I'm trying to fit in or again, just escape my problems. So I kind of got to the point where I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. It's just, it's not me. And I learned right then that you cannot escape your problems with a substance, with an easy solution. There's not like a magical pill. Maybe you're, you started a new fitness journey and you want to lose weight and you think just taking a pill is going to solve that problem. It, guys, it is not. And I learned at that moment, the only thing, the only person that can solve my problems is myself. I have total control over that and nothing else. Not a pill, not a substance, not Uncle Jimmy across the street. It's just, it's all up to you. And I think we find ourselves trying to tiptoe around our problems a lot of times, or maybe procrastinate. You have something tough that you work on at work. You're just going to push that to the side. So my challenge to you guys is if you have a problem right now, don't skirt around it. Don't put it off. Just sprint towards it, just just face it head on, and I guarantee you that the outcome will be good. So now that you're all motivated and ready to take on the world, check this out. This is a mess over here. This is what I call end of year tax write-offs. I had to buy some things for the business, which is the YouTube channel, so I figured I'll show you guys a few things. I'll make it quick. Package number one, this is a dead cat, which you just put on the mic, so hopefully when you're outside in the wind, it blocks some of that noise out. Now I guarantee if I put it on right now, it won't make a difference, but we'll find out. So I really don't think it's gonna make any kind of difference inside, but at least it will make my camera setup look even more ignorant when I go out in public and people can get a good laugh out of that, so that's always a good thing. I got this little mini tripod for the kitchen. Hopefully that will help get some cool shots. I also got one of these, I don't know what this is called, 
one of these clamps for a GoPro as well as a suction mount. I did get a GoPro Hero 5, by the way, which is pretty cool. Big things coming in 2017, big things coming. Anytime you hear that from anyone on YouTube, just know you're about to be underwhelmed. I got some glasses, I can't write these off, but at least I can see your beautiful faces now. Extra battery for the GoPro, kit to clean the sensor on this camera, as well as a mount so I can put my old Sigma lens on this camera and not have it be a complete waste just sitting over there. And you know what I think that YouTubers need to realize is that 99% of people do not care about any of this. I mean, we're so passionate about it, so we wanna talk about it, but I know you guys do not care, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop here. More thing, this is pretty cool, a backpack that holds my camera in this front in this front pocket. Now, I've been traveling with my cameras very, very dangerously, so since I got a new one, much more expensive, I wanna make sure it's safe. Isn't this, isn't this just awesome? I mean, the only things that I care about when I travel are my camera and my computer, so this will be a big help. I guess it has been too long since I have messed up some waffles. Obviously, did not come out too well. Now this is, in my opinion, the best protein pancake recipe given the macros and the taste. This is pathetic. You know, they actually didn't come out too bad, but I'm gonna ask you guys the question. Hopefully you give me the right answer. Team waffle or team pancake? I'll give you a hint. Okay, my official review on the chocolate peanut butter cup and lightened ice cream. I would say this is either the best flavor or the second best. It's between this and the frozen hot chocolate, I think it's called. But wow. That, my friends, was amazing. And that is how I'm going to cap off the night. Thank you. Whoa. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Stop it. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You keep doing anything. And you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. That thumbs up button, it really does help me out a lot. And you made it to this point, you had to have liked something, right? I look forward to talking to you guys next time. Happy New Year. <laughs> that was like happy birthday. <laughs> I love you guys. No, All right, we love you.